Greenwich has officially become the fourth London borough to be crowned royal in more than 80 years. With the Queen's House, the Royal Observatory and the Royal Naval College, Greenwich has had close links to royalty since the Middle Ages. But what does this new title mean for Greenwich? Will it boost the local economy and benefit residents? Or is it just the fancy title given in time for the London 2012 Olympics and the Queen's Diamond Jubilee? I don't think people really understand you know why it's become a royal borough. You know, people saying, well, what does it mean? What are all these you know, notices and posters up for? A royal borough doesn't mean anything. Uh, doesn't mean anything to me. Um, my upbringing is, is in South East London. It's nothing to do with the Queen. The, the, the royal family don't live here. They have, you know, they, they don't have very much to do with this area. It's just, it's just a bit embarrassing. It is said that the cost of the borough rebrand has gone into six figures, and it is not clear where this money is being spent. Residents are concerned with whether the money is getting to all the other areas within the borough. It's, it's obviously a thing you can sell to tourists and that benefits. That, that, that could well benefit the centre of Greenwich but you've got to make that benefit stretch out into other areas and ultimately that's not going to be just within the borough of Greenwich. It's you know, places like Deptford uh, and, and Lewisham. But it, yeah, it, need, it needs to benefit the whole, the whole borough down to Eltham, down to Thamesmead, uh, places like that. And from the noises coming out of the council at the moment, I can't see how, that's going to, how it's going to do that at all.